So you can see I have something like this. This is a panel, this is another panel, and this is another panel. And so if I go and take these panels and change them to the wall type, which I have created before, which is wall, where this, this one, generic 60 millimeters curtain panel. Now you can see that because of this is created by the wall, it is truly curved. You can see that there, there is like curvature here and it is not being a straight piece, but it's curved one. So this way I can categorize it as a panel and even in the schedule, I can go and create a schedule where I will be scheduling these walls as panels and I will get the area, volume and length and whatever I need. Okay, now if I need to create mullions, the vertical mullions are easy because they doesn't need to be curved. But what about the horizontal mullions? If I go here, you can see that it will create them straight. So the trick here is, again, if I go to the front, I would need to create, I will change those mullions for the glass or change this wall panel to be a glass. So you will better see it. Okay, so I go with my curtain grid and I create a horizontal one here and here. Okay, and now my vertical mullions have the size of 50. So this one should be 50. So I put here 50 millimeters. And here, 50 millimeters. So I will make this, this, this curtain panel. I will make it the same size as the curtain wall mullion. And now the only thing I need to do is to change this curtain panel, which is the basic wall for the wall, which will be representing my curtain wall mullion. So it will be 150 millimeters deep and it will be from aluminium. So I will go here, edit type, duplicate this one, to 150, curtain panel two, or curtain wall mullion, make it 150, and for the material, aluminium. So you can see that now I was able to create sort of mullion, but it is actually not a mullion because it's the curtain panel, but it looks the same. So I can just go and check those as well and change them and then check those on the top. and change them to my basic wall and I will just add mullions here and here and now you can see I was able to create a truly curved curtain wall in Revit the thing is that this works only for the curtain wall mullions which are just like the rectangular ones if I would use a profile, a custom made profile here which I was showing you before you would not actually be able to, to duplicate this with the wall because the wall can have only like this rectangular profile. But this is quite nice. Again, it is categorized as panel. So this is also one disadvantage because if you would be doing scheduling of curtain wall mullions, you will not schedule those fake ones. But 
this way you can model pretty cool curved curtain wall in Revit. And there is one more thing with curved curtain walls and that is that if you want to modify the placement of this curtain wall grid in a curved curtain wall you can see that if I hit the grid I get the angle but not the length. I would like to have a length here so I know that this one is let's say 2000 millimeters from this one but you can see that with the temporary dimensions I cannot do this. So how can I do this is by using the dimensions and dimension it with the arc length. Hit the wall first and now first one and the second one. I will place it and now if I get my curtain wall grid you can see that I can modify this distance to be 2000 millimeters and this way I can use it not in like degrees but in the length. So this is pretty cool.